all of you who have taken this day off of school, off of work, to be here and stand up for our climate. I'm going to take a moment to talk about all the things that we've heard today. I'm sure you've heard things that have shocked you, things that have inspired you, things that might have been overwhelming, things that might have given you hope. We've heard a lot of things today. So I want you to take a moment to take a deep breath with you, to take in everything that you've seen here today. So let's take a deep breath. I want you to think about what happens when we all go home. What happens tonight? What happens tomorrow? What happens next week, next month, next year? We need to keep up this fight and keep it going because this is a challenge that's not going to end in anytime soon. This is a challenge that we're going to face throughout our lifetime. So we need to prepare for a lifetime of action, and especially after right now. We have taken action. Everyone is here. You've taken an amazing step forward for a better future that we want to see. But I'm going to talk about all the people who aren't here today. We have neighbors, friends, classmates, coworkers who are not here today. And why aren't they? What's stopping people from taking action when we know what needs to be done? We know the scale of the change that needs to happen. We know what, all the reasons. So why aren't people taking action? There are a lot of challenges and barriers that we face. So today, I want to talk about five barriers to action and how we can flip all of those barriers to channel them and use them as our strength to create a more powerful movement that will be inclusive, that will be just, and that will have the power to truly, truly change the world and all of the systems that we have. These barriers to action were developed by Marshall Gans. Uh, he was from Harvard and a whole series of trainings and publications around public narrative and story. So credit where credit is due. The first barrier to action is apathy. As a reaction to a problem so big, so dangerous, so apocalyptic, a lot of people have the response of taking it up, denying it, being numb as a way of coping with the challenge so big that it's so difficult to understand. There is an antidote to apathy. The antidote to apathy is anger. Tap into your anger. There are so many things to be angry about. There's no shortage. Be angry about the fossil fuel CEOs that are putting their profits above our lives. Be angry about the politicians that are taking fossil fuel money. Be angry about all the people that have set us up to inherit a world like this. So tap into that anger. And it's not just big, it's outrage. Against the crisis this big. But 
as you can see here, we're clearly not alone. There are 4,500 strikes happening all across the country today. Can you believe that? And now we're all here today. Woo! 